welcome everybody. Hello here at the Tallinn Black Knights Film Festival for a talk uh, for the official selection about Vacuum uh, by director Christina Repon. Um, it will, just for the information, be followed by uh, uh, a talk about the Eternal Road and Night Accident. And uh, the reason for that is that we have so many wonderful guests. So we decided to um, have this talk concentrated on Vacuum. The second film, as I um, said, by director Christina Repon, which is sitting left to me at the uh, second place. But I would also like to introduce you to Karen Koch, the producer on the far left side of mine, and the wonderful main cast, which is uh, Robert Hungerbühler and of course Barbara Auer, playing very intimate roles, playing uh, very intensely and multifaceted uh, the relationship of uh, of a couple that has been together for 35 years. Some of the, if or maybe all, uh, the responses will be in German and I will try my best to translate. And if you should have any questions, please, uh, please feel free to also ask. Um, the first question, of course, has to go to the director. Um, Silberwald was uh, the film that you did before, your first long feature, was a coming of age film. And this was in 2011, and it traveled the world, traveled the festivals. And uh, now here we have, I would say, all the contrary. <laughs> we are talking or seeing uh, the relationship of a couple that has been together for 35 years. Uh, I, did you feel that you had to explore the, I would say, the, the opposite of uh, emotions, not emotions that come freshly to the world, but uh, emotions that have been very much established and uh, are getting the new cracks now after 35 years. Ich bin eigentlich nicht so kalkuliert an das Thema herangegangen. Es war so, dass äh, ein befreundeter Arzt mir die Geschichte erzählt hat von einer Patientin. Please microphone on. Please microphone on. Also. Ah, von einer äh, Patientin, die 60 Jahre alt äh, war und bei ihm auf der Intensivstation lag mit einer scheinbar unbehandelbaren Lungenentzündung und diese Frau wäre all, also beinahe gestorben, bis sie zufällig auf HIV getestet haben und es kam heraus, dass sie HIV positiv ist. Well, I'm not, frankly, I'm not that calculated. Uh, I heard the story from a doctor who told me that a patient of his, uh, a woman in her 60s, if I got that right, uh, uh, was really nearly fatally ill, was in, uh, in his presence, and he then found out that she was HIV positive, which uh, was a, a story that struck me very much. And uh, to, uh, to add on that, of course, uh, you might have read it already in the catalogue. This is the story, as I said, of a couple that's together for 35 years. And Meredith, the woman, finds out that she's HIV positive and the only one who could have transmitted the disease is her husband. And this is not, uh, uh, this is about the aftermath <laughs> very much. Uh, this is where the story, you could say, uh, begins in a way. And then you unfold it. I, um, I'm very much interested in the, I, and I mean that not in a very negative sense, but in the Hollywood model, we would have a hero that encounters obstacles and then overcomes it and there's a solution. Uh, so uh, he grows emotionally. I think you're very much more interested in a very different model. I would call it emotional flickering. There is no solution. They learn a lot, your characters, but they, there is no redemption, just uh, something very different. Mm -hmm. Ja, ich habe mich für diese Zeitspanne entschieden, also die, es geht vielleicht vier, fünf Wochen, also seit der Diagnose und die habe ich so wie unter dem Brennglas äh, vergrößert und sehr genau eben diese Frau und diesen Mann beobachtet und da ging es mir nicht sehr um die Lösung, sondern wirklich um dieses Ringen, um, um die alte Liebe, äh, ob das Vertrauen wiederherstellbar ist, das war mein Schwerpunkt. So, yes, actually, I was interested in that very time after after knowing about the disease, um, uh, these four to five weeks uh, that I decided to look at very intensely. I was not interested in the solution, but rather the fight also for this uh, yeah, love that has been going on for 35 years. Um, uh, so uh, the the next question would be to the to the to the actors, the wonderful actors that are actors that have a lot of experience also uh, as stage actors. And I wondered, how did Christine Rupin approach you? Were you taken over, uh, were you won over by the project very easily uh, in, 
at the very first moment. Tell us a bit about the process of casting. Please, Barbara Auer and Robert Hunger Bühler. Shall I start? Or? Yeah. So, I um, Christine. I met Christine, I think, three years ago, and she offered me um, the script. Uh, but it was completely, not completely, but it was very different to now. And so, and we talk a lot, and in between, sometimes we phoned, and uh, there was a, de a developing of the story. It changed, and um, it was with my life experiences a mixture, but um, because Christina said, okay, I'm young, and you are older. I need your experiences, of course. And um, that, yeah, I... I I have this ansatz sehr geliebt, mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this uh, that, that she proposed me to to put our life experiences together, and um, so I was very interested. And I, of course, it was a big challenge for me, not only to play um, this character or the story or the drama of this couple, but also also the style of because uh, Christina told me. She wants to to have a, a shooting style like um, um, wie sagt man um, weißt du so na ja ganz natürlich na. very natural yeah right. yeah plucked yeah, from really. from mundane life from everyday yeah. life in a way mm. yeah do, documentary a documentary I, 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 even. more documentary okay. style I'm okay. sorry I, okay. I, I couldn't find the word yeah and um, that was a big challenge and of course uh, it implicated fear but also um, to find out mm -hmm. anything about this person about the story about myself it was like a bit like an adventure mm -hmm. and so um, yeah I, I loved it where we matched this project and we, we weren't sure if we could realize it because I think it was three years, right? I think really? it's three uh, years something uh, about, and um, it need time, and it, um, yeah, and it was always in my mind for some years, and um, that was very special. It was a very special um, project, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did that include, just to be clear about it, improvisation on set? On the very day, or was are we talking about the process on the on the scripts uh, on the script level, that uh, would include your experiences, or was it because yeah. on the script too, um, too yeah I think because we talk a lot, but then it yeah uh, and on you no know, uh, we didn't uh, we didn't improvisate or did we we, we had a, we had one week of rehearsal mm -hmm. and we met because we didn't know each other. Mm -hmm. Robert and me. Okay. Uh, of course, I, I knew him, but just uh, on screen or stage, <laughs> I'm not really. And so um, we had one week very uh, intimate in a way, and Christina told us a lot. We we yeah we spoke a lot, and she showed um, uh, different movies to show us different scenes she likes or something like this. It's, and this was very um, important for our we, uh, for mm -hmm. our work, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robert Hungerbühler, please comment on this as well. I speak in German even if I have a. I will speak in German even if I have a. My wife is from the US. I have Christine kennengelernt, as she mir das Skript übergab, and then I have it gelesen and have first mal gedacht, dieser. André ist ein Weichei und ist eigentlich nicht zu spielen. Er ist nur immer in der Passivität und in der Optik äh, dieser Meredith. Und ich fand mich eigentlich beim Lesen schon wie in einem Hamsterrad. Und wir haben dann intensive Auseinandersetzungen, sehr konstruktive gehabt, verbaler Art, Christine und ich, ähm, bis es dann... Äh, dazu kam, äh, diese Rolle zu spielen. Christine, äh, als ich ihr sagte, ähm, dieser Film, der erste Film, den sie gemacht hat, ha habe mir sehr gut gefallen, aber warum ist er so düster? Und da hat sie mir geantwortet, aber dieser Film wird noch düsterer. 
Also okay. das heißt, äh, ich konnte nicht so vereinbaren, vielleicht ist es eigentlich auch meine, ähm, meine Optik gewesen, als ich Christine zum ersten Mal sah. Ich habe sie sofort gegoogelt und habe gedacht, was äh, will dieses wunderschöne äh, Berner Oberländer Mädchen äh, für Filme machen. Und ich war total erstaunt, dass sie Filme machen will, die unter die Haut gehen. Sie hat immer von uns beiden etwas gefordert, äh, wo wir nicht einfach so per se an den Set gehen können und äh, unsere Register ziehen. Ähm, ich habe mich äh, dann dazu entschlossen, auf schauspielerische Mittel zu verzichten und einfach äh, just to be there. Okay. Um, I got to know Christina when I Uh, got this, uh, the, the hands on, on the script and read it. And immediately I thought Andre is a, um, a coward, basically. Uh, a, a, a person or a man uh, really um, stuck in his passivity, uh, uh, also in regards to his uh, wife. Um, I felt he's like uh, a hamster going in circles. And that implied for me that we had to have intense discussions, me and the director, to uh, on the script. And uh, and I love these discussions. And um, I told Christina that I really loved her first work, Silberwald, but I was surprised why uh, this, um, if I may say also, beautiful director from Bern uh, is uh, so interested in dark stories. And uh, and she said like, well, this one, this first one was dark. This one will be darker even. <laughs> so this uh, these are really films that go under the skin for me. And uh, this is, was also uh, something that uh, we could, as, um, as actors, feel on set very much. We couldn't come to the set and do like uh, use our um, normal tools. This was uh, about uh, letting go of the tools of, of uh, and really come um, as myself or, or, or be open. I hope I try my best to translate that. Um, uh, I hope I, I uh, went there, more or less. Um, the, uh, this is a question to the producer. Um, this is not the first time that you would uh, work together. And uh, this is a project, uh, uh, as with uh, Silberwald, as we uh, heard, that's dark. Uh, and it needed a lot of preparations. Is this uh, something that is um, a script, a topic, uh, a, a film that's easy to be made? in Switzerland, as you're working at Joint Venture, as you're part of Joint Venture, which is, which is really one of the big production companies in Switzerland. And I suppose Vacuum, in, in its all its subtlety, is not an easy project to realize. I mean, initial, initially, um, the project was um, a German production. I mean, it was uh, Walker and Worm from Munich <coughs> who developed the script with uh, Christine, and it was planned to be a minor Swiss co-production. Mm -hmm. So to say, most of the money should come from Germany and less of money from Switzerland. But in the end, it turned out that the uh, German funders and television stations <laughs> didn't have the courage to um, fund this film. So I, I just um, was, was uh, confronted to, uh, to finance the film by my own with the Swiss funds. And luckily, they had really, really lo a lot of um, trust in Christine's work because of Silberwald. Silberwald, the first film was very successful in Switzerland in the, in, uh, with the festivals. And we were lucky that we could um, yeah, raise the money within no time, I have to say. That was really luckily to the Swiss um, founders and television station. Now, as we heard, this was a journey with an open end where you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't know if a result would necessarily be like what you planned for. That's what I gathered. So please tell us about the process on set, because this is about an intimacy uh, and, uh, as we said, not working with tools, but really opening up. How did you work on set? And Once again, the improvisation. There is one scene that comes to my mind. There's this young, um, very young boy, and you are in the garden searching with him uh, for a rabbit, a rabbit to hold to. And then you start to cry. And he says, like, oh, we're going to find the rabbit. And this is, and I really felt like this is so pure, so coming out of you, bursting of you. 
Yes, it was very, very well written, I suppose. But it was uh, still, it felt very authentic to me. I'm, it seems like that that I'm talking about. So this is for an answer for you as well, for the director about the process. Yes. yes, please. Es ist lustig, dass du diese Szene erwähnst, weil die Szene wäre fast rausgefallen mhm. im Skript. Also die war geschrieben mhm. und die haben wir dann so inszeniert. Und ich glaube, es war auch ein großes Glück, dass die Chemie zwischen dem Jungen und Barbara einfach sehr gestimmt hat und dass der Junge sich sehr auf Barbara eingelassen hat. Funny that you would mention the scene, because this was one we had in the script and it was really written, but we nearly threw it out. And I'm glad we didn't uh, and we could shoot the scene because the boy was really, the chemistry between him and Barbara was really outstanding. So I'm really happy about that scene. But this scene was written like this, in fact, yeah, and it worked. You didn't know it, but in the moment it was it was the right moment. Mm -hmm. And of course we all prepared very well, all with the children, with my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And it's very special always to, to work with children, but that was uh, not only my, th it was your thing too, to work with Our. the children. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Okay, but you don't know. Mm -hmm. In this moment it worked, yeah. There are moments, so Christina, there are moments uh, with your outstanding actors where they actually have to get naked. This is also about intimacy, uh, about intimacy, like learning about bodies for decades, knowing everything, and then because uh, uh, something from outside changes, suddenly these are strangers. And this is what they had to play, that suddenly this chemistry, they could not connect physically anymore. They really were like strangers. So how do you prepare for these, uh, um, yeah, these scenes of sex, the scenes of intimacy? Uh, are there any stories to share that are special about the method, how you, how you prepared on set? Also ich habe äh, vor den Dreharbeiten eine Woche Probewoche mit äh, Barbara und Robert gemacht, in denen ich ähm, Filme gezeigt habe, äh, wo es äh, auch um Sexualität gegangen ist und wo ich einfach sehr klar mit ihnen durchgesprochen habe, was mich interessiert, jetzt auch in, in der Bildästhetik oder vom Spiel. Ich habe aber auch Negativbeispiele gezeigt, was mich zum Beispiel überhaupt nicht interessiert. Also äh, gab es auch äh, sicher drei Filme, in die wir reingeschaut haben. Und dann sind wir auch in das Motiv gegangen, also in das Haus. Und dort, ich glaube, ist bei uns allen etwas Spezielles passiert, weil als wir dann in diesem äh, auch Schlafzimmer oder Kinderzimmer gewesen sind, ist, ist irgendwie bei uns auch nochmal was passiert, also dass wir uns sehr, sehr intime Geschichten erzählt haben über unser Leben. Also wir haben uns, glaube ich, sehr geöffnet einander. Mhm. Well, there was one week of rehearsals, and uh, which implied also that we would have a look at, you might say, films about erotics or the errors of men and women. And we did not only see positive uh, examples for that, but also negative uh, examples. You didn't name them, but there were at least three. <laughs> and, uh, and then there comes the moment when actually uh, the whole team would be in the set or the house of the couple. This is a well-off couple, and if we're talking Swiss well-off, we're talking very well-off. <laughs> this is an amazing house, you could say. Anyhow, this is, uh, if I understood it right, uh, not a built set, but a real house. Uh, uh, so what happened to the whole team is that strangely enough uh, uh, in rooms like the children's room for uh, for example they suddenly opened up and uh, they were telling each other very intimate stories and that really helped the process at, as well. Um, just a question is there somebody who has been to the screening before and would like to ask a question so please. I wanted to ask you, do you consider this film uh, a feminist film? Because it seems that the, um, the, the character, the woman, she's the strongest and she continues to defend her husband till the very end when she has to lie to the mm -hmm. daughters. So do you think it's, do you see it as a feminist project? Ich mag generell das Wort äh, feministisch nicht, äh, aber es ist natürlich klar äh, ein Film über, also ein Emanzipationsprozess. Insofern äh, kann man ihn auch als feministisch sehen. I don't like the word feminist that much really for my own work. I, I would rather prefer to, to uh, call or to, to use the word emancipation. And this is for sure 
uh, uh, process of emancipation that she's going through, Meredith. So uh, yes, well, you might call it feminist. And uh, because you mentioned that uh, you learned about this story from, from a doctor, so it's something uh, based on a real, mm -hmm. real fact. So maybe I will ask you and Barbara, how would you behave in a situation like this? Me, personally? Yes. Yeah. I think I would hope that I can grow up and I don't uh, get depressed. Barbara? You mean if I would be in this situation of Meredith? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not sure about. Sometimes I thought about, but I can't really say. I, yeah, it was open, uh, even while shooting. Um, and I, I didn't ask uh, what would I do, but I tried to find out what, what would Meredith do. And so I can't say it. <laughs> And because you also mentioned that you, you were talking about other films maybe which deal with the same uh, situations or similar intimate stories. Can you mention what, what you showed to the actors and what kind of films to the similar topics you like? Is it something Not like the Patrice similar Charot topic, uh, but about the sexuality yeah. in, in movies, uh, for example, <laughs> Intimacy. It, it's a very good uh, example. Charot, it's reali realistic mm -hmm. and... Uh, and uh, uh, which other films? Uh, Volke, Neun, Volke Neun from Andreas Dresen, for example. Then. Uh, cloud 7 in English. Uh -huh. Oh, Cloud 7. Oh, yes. Cloud 9. Uh, no. Oh, is it Cloud 9? I, I thought it's Cloud 7. Blissfully yours. yours. Uh, but I don't know the director. It's a complicated name from Thailand. <laughs> I think these three. Jardis party, party girl. Party girl. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So uh, I might add one last question before we have to come to a close. And at this very moment, I would already like to say, the screening is starting in 40 minutes at four o'clock uh, at the Cosmos. So uh, for anyone seeing this online, uh, get your last tickets. There are some few left, so we hope to see you there. But I would like to add one more question to uh, Robert Hungerbühler, because now we are talking about if this would really happen to you. I mean, you struggled with André, and, uh, uh, and so I think this question is very fair to be also asked to you. What would you do? Yeah, that is noch schwieriger. Also, uh, ich, da, ich weiß es überhaupt nicht, weil uh, ich weiß bis heute nicht, ob er Opfer ist oder Täter oder beides zugleich oder einfach nur ein, ein Tor, mhm. also im, im ursprünglichen Sinne wirklich ein Narr, um so etwas äh, aufs Spiel zu setzen, als er es erfährt und das war für mich das Unglaubliche, auch schon im Drehbuch, ähm, im, von dem Umstand äh, von Meredith äh, weiß ja erst, dass er der Erzeuger ist und nicht vorher. Und das ist, äh, das finde ich das unglaublich in dem Film und dadurch ist es auch ein bisschen äh, Psycho, also wie ein Psychothriller, weil er weiß es ja nicht vorher. So, I really don't know how I would react, because I still don't know if he's a, the perpetrator or the victim and which, which of this, uh, or he, if he's simply like utterly naive, I really, from, from the very first moment until now. And for me, the very spe specific thing about his situation is, of course, that he only finds out what he has done through Meredith. So for me, this is also a very intense psycho thriller in a way as well or has elements of that so and with this i think uh, um, people are very much invited to join the screening at four o'clock and uh, i would love uh, to thank you and like to thank you for being here and sharing your experiences with us thank you very much to the team of vacuum thank you.